Emily, it's hard to imagine that this same Ringgold team had the worst record in school history just two years ago at 0 and 10. However, the Tigers, they haven't let that winless season haunt them. In fact, Ringgold has one of the top 20 scoring offenses in the entire state of any school, of any classification. Not to mention they're rocking into hosting the first round of the playoffs with the best regular season record ever. Honestly, I knew we were going to be really good, but I didn't know we were going to be this good. Records, rankings, respect. Three R's Ringgold has earned with a shockingly near perfect season. It was very shocking. I mean, we broke a lot of records this year, and it's just crazy to all of us. You know, I knew at the beginning of the year we had a chance to be really good. Uh, you know, I know we didn't finish a couple of times last year, but I knew this, gr this group was going to step up as seniors. They were going to mature. We knew that at some point we were all going to figure it out kind of just get back together and then we all kind of came this summer and just felt like it was going to be a big year and just kind of took off from there. Our work paid off. That hard work turned a winless team into a one loss team. It was just crazy to think that we went 0-10 to 9-1. 0-10, it sucks to be 0-10, like everybody's be hating on you and all that stuff, but then you come out here and show them what you can really do. You know, that hurt really bad and I guess we took it seriously and we came out to show that we're not that same team and uh, we've gotten better. I think the leaders on this team were the ones who went through the 0 and 10, and so they're not they're not letting teammates mess it up, and they're just working hard. And I think that a lot of that comes into play uh, as they play this year. They want to do everything to the best of their ability. It's, it feels good. It feels good to all those people that were doubting us in that 0 and 10 season get to come here and watch us play a first round playoff game. It feels good to kind of just show them really what the deal is. Quarterback Mason Parker says this team still feels like the underdog, even though they're 9-1 and one and hosting Hart County tonight. That's just simply because they didn't even make it to the playoffs the last two years. He says Ringgold has a lot to prove and to show that strength against a similarly speedy Hart County team tonight. Why the Tigers have confidence that they will come out with just their fourth playoff win in school history? I'll tell you coming up at 6.